I will come you to another series of our videos. So, in this video, we'll be discussing dimension analysis. So, the problem we have here is problem 2, topic 1, coming from Sailway 11th edition. So, the question reads, suppose displacement of an object is related to time according to the expression x is equal to b t squared. So x here represents the displacement and t squared represents time squared. So what are the dimensions of b? Then also let's look at this. So the question continue continues. A displacement is related to time as x is equal to a sine 2 pi ft. So, sine, alright, so x is equal to a sine 2 pi ft. So, where a and f are constants. Find the dimensions of a. Then they've given us a hint. A trigonometric function appearing in an equation must be dimensionless. Right. So this is the use of information they've given us. So let's answer the questions now. So to start with, A, X is given, X is equal to B, T squared. So here, what we are trying to do is making B the subject of the formula. So, when we make B the subject of the formula, this is what we get. So, we know that the dimensions for length or for X, which is the displacement, is equal to L. Then, the dimension for time, which is um in this case it's time squared so it will be capital letter t squared so with this information we've written this here so b is equal to l so this should be in brackets like this that's how we write dimensions so you put them in brackets like that so it's l l in brackets capital letter l in brackets over capital letter t squared in brackets so this is what we get so this is the dimension um this, those are the dimensions for b so that dimension can also be written in form of l in brackets then multiplied by t to the power negative 2 in brackets so it's just one and the same thing this is what has been uh, repeated here then this is just the same. So this is the these are the dimensions for B. So let's look at B. Okay. So to find the they want us to find the dimension for A. So in that expression, they want us to find the dimensions for A. So we know that the we discussed earlier that the dimension for displacement displacement which is x is equal to capital letter L in brackets. Then sine is a trigonometric function which they've just mentioned that it is dimensionless. So any trigonometric function is dimensionless. Then two pi two is a constant, then pi pi is equivalent to twenty two over 7 which is also a constant so in dimensional analysis constants are dimensionless so then f in this equation represents frequency which is 1 over time and the dimension of time we said it's capital letter t so this is there this this small letter t is representing time then that t is the dimension for capital letter t is the dimension for 
time. So to represent to to replace or substitute this information we've discussed, we get this equation. So where there's x we've replaced with capital letter L in brackets, then where there's A, A is the one we want to find, then where there's F we have replaced with 1 over t, which is here, 1 over t. So the t, um, capital letter t, is in brackets because we say dimensions, we have to make sure that they are in brackets. Then what is the dimension of this t? The dimension of this t is t, capital letter t. So this is the t here, capital letter t in brackets. So this t and this t simplify so when they simplify we remain with so this they'll simplify then we remain with a multiplying by one so when you multiply a and one you remain with a so the dimension for a in this case is l in capital letter l in brackets so at this point we can say the dimensions for a is equal to L, we should be in uh, brackets. So this is the dimension for A. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel.